Asen Baliksi has been a leading figure in the field of visual anthropology and more precisely ethnographic filmmaking for many years. Long after retirement from his work in Canada, Baliksi, at the age of 72, once more started yet another phase of his professional life, assisting his daughter Anna in her anthropological work in Sikkim, northern India. Okay, here I will sit. <laughs> it is here to Sikkim where I have come to visit Arsen and Anna and conclude a series of talks Arsen and I have begun two years ago about his life and work, as well as about his notions of ethnographic film and visual anthropology. This today is like Valentine's Typical for him, Arsen Baliksi has begun here in Sikkim to teach two young locals, Dawa and Purpo, how to make ethnographic films. <laughs> Seeing him working in this environment, I remember that Arsen had once summarized his life by saying that he had always seen himself as a foreigner in the societies he had lived in. And he repeated telling me, becoming an anthropologist, he thus became what he calls a professional foreigner. You see, I was an outsider. I was definitely an outsider. I was at the periphery. In Istanbul, I was definitely a foreigner. In Geneva, definitely a foreigner. Then going to Canada, definitely a foreigner. So all my life, I am a professional foreigner. That's why probably I went to anthropology. No matter how much you learn about a culture, you don't belong to it. Uh -huh. 